What's up everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and configure permissions for Bucket. Uh, now, if you don't know what Bucket is, basically it is a modded server where you can add different plugins, which are mods, um, to customize your server way more efficiently. Uh, if you don't know how to make a Bucket server or you don't already have one, you can go ahead and check the link, which is over um, on the bottom right screen, uh, where my mod where my watermark is, and it'll take you over there. And uh, you can watch that video, and then come back by pressing the little back button at the top. This is some crazy tutorial action up in this hizzle dizzle rizzle. Uh, yeah, so basically, first things first. After you make your bucket servers, you can see I have one here. Uh, you need to open up your plugins file. Now this won't be in there. This is some extra stuff I already have in there, but. Uh, first things first, you're going to need to download permission. So what you need to do is go on to uh, get, well first you need to go to bucket.org, B-U-K-K-I-T, uh, then go to get per plugins, uh, this link will probably be in the description so you don't have to do this, and then type in permissions, and uh, after a little while, after, you know, when it decides to load up, we're going to click on this one, but again this will be in the description so you guys don't have to scour and then you're going to have to download two things, two things. Um, you're going to need to download the full zip and the main jar. And it'll ask you if you're on that, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and you're going to need to drag and drop these into there. Well, the uh, jar primarily. I'm not going to do that, but now you will need to rename the jar if you've downloaded it multiple times, which is a problem a lot of people have. Um, as you can see here, if your downloads folder it already has one in there, it'll be a little two. I actually have three. Well, it will be a little one if you've already downloaded it once, um, and so on and so forth. Um, and you need to rename this so it's just permissions.jar, or I believe if you're on a Windows 7 uh, system, you will probably just re need to rename it permissions. You could throw in the .jar, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. I'm not sure if that's right, so don't quote me. If um, if it's automatically permissions and then a little number and then dot jar, just take off the number and make sure there's no space. All right, so once you have the jar in there, then you need to open up the permissions bin thing that you downloaded. Go into the, uh, you will need WinR for this, but I'm assuming you already have that because everyone should already have it. It's the greatest program I've ever downloaded. Then go into the readme, or 7-zip of course, but it's not like many people use that anyways. Um, and then you'll see two files in here. So you just want to go into the your well. Once you put in the jar, you're gonna to need to run your server, and then uh, it'll create this file. Uh, and then you need to go into your world and drag and drop these uh, these two files into here. But I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you also need to do that into your world underscore Nether. So I'll do that right now because I haven't. And then we'll click yes to replace them. And there you go. So it's just like that in the other file. Now, um, one thing I'm going to get out of the way here, if you have multiple worlds, like a multi-world thing running, what you can do is you can make a new folder. So if that world was named uh, Awesome Pants, uh, if that world was named Awesome Pants, you could open up Awesome Pants, drag and drop these files into here, and then you could configure these so certain permissions only work on Awesome Pants, or World. So actually, I'm going to delete that because I don't have a world name Awesome Pants. Let's just get rid of that. Um, so, bam, there you go. You've kind of set up it already. Now, this is global stuff. Um, you will have to actually take this, um, Control-C them, Control-V them if you want uh, global things. I'm not going to show you how to do the global. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just the entire world. I'm, don't quote me on that, but I normally don't use them. So let's go into the world. Now you'll see two things. You'll see groups and you'll see users, both YMLs. So you'll know, or you should know, that YMLs are very sensitive text documents. So that means if you have an extra space, or one less space, or a misspelling, or anything like that, the YML will freak out and you'll get an error when you try to run your server. So just remember to check your formatting because... You know, it's it's kind of like that one stuck up teacher that doesn't that wants you to get everything right and you just want to strangle the crap out of the person, but you can't because it's illegal, unfortunately. So, uh, when you open up the groups, uh, which is the first thing we're going to be working on, you'll see a couple things. Now, uh, this is the reason I recommended getting essentials or command book. Right now, I have essentials for my later tutorial, uh, but it just allows you to have way more uh, commands. So, we should probably just. We can close permissions now and just find um, essentials. So we'll just type in that. And uh, da -da 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 -da. where are you, essentials? I probably passed you. There you are. All right. 
Um, and then you can download it here by clicking download. Uh, but the, well, we'll not do this right now, but I recommend getting Essentials or Command Book. Highly recommended, actually. So let's go into our groups YML again. And uh, like I said, so these are the groups down here. You can ignore all of this crap, but you might want to read it because it's just some information. Um, but I'll tell you most of it anyways. Uh, so we have these are our, these are our groups. We have a default group, the name, member, moderator, admin, and well admins, and that's it. So uh, I'm actually going to remove the member because I don't like members. And uh, yeah, make sure you keep formatting here. And I'm going to change default to basic just because this is a little easier to remember. And I'm going to change moderator to mod and admins to admin. Now, uh, if you change these names or delete some, one thing you're going to need to remember is um, in the mod, say if you changed uh, default to basic, in the mod, you're going to have to go down here into inheritance and change member, which was previously the one right before this, to basic. Also, if you change the name of member, you'll have to change it to whatever it is. And uh, remember to keep uh, its cap sensitive and everything like that. Uh, now, in here, we'll see some default things we'll see uh, moderators automatically have ban and kick and unban and uh, this little guy down here under admin um, this star means uh, he has every single command every single command ever some however uh, some plugins require you to actually have the op which means you have every single command but it's a little you know it's kinda hard to explain but just imagine in layman's terms, you have the mayor. Well, that doesn't make any sense. You have the president, which is powerful, sure. But if you had a overlord, king, Jesus, God, lord of all things type deal, yeah, the president is still pretty powerful, but lord of all things type deal is a little more, he's a little more up there. So um, the star is nice, but if you want to be a true admin and my phone is ringing, uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then come back because this might be important. Sorry about that little break there, but uh, I got an important phone call, so I had to kind of take it. Anyways, let's get back to it. Uh, so remember, if you want all commands, sometimes it requires for you to have op. But, uh, you know, if you're running the server, I pr probably just recommend you uh, get op anyways, even though you are an admin, but that's beside the point. Um, all right, so, uh, of course, if you don't want the admins to have the uh, star command, uh, you can always just take this little bit out. Uh, all right, now, now let's actually get into kind of understanding um, the groups. So in the groups, you'll see this default, and default equals true on the basic. But as you can see in mod, default equals false. So this means if you have no whitelist and someone joins, the uh, what their default set as is a basic. Now, um, you don't want to turn more than one of these on, or else you'll get an error. Um, but so if I wanted everyone to come on as a mod, which is a very bad idea, um, I could change this to true like that and then change this. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Let's just do it the manual way to false. All right. But of course I do not want that because otherwise we'll have some problems. Uh, all right. So, um, you're going to kind of want to ignore prefix and suffix because that's I pretty much leave that up to essential shout, which will be my later tutorial. Um, and then we have this little guy here, build. Now, this means if they can uh, uh, build blocks or remove blocks. I'm going to put uh, basic to true um, just because it's kind of easier to handle. That's why the member was there, so you could uh, have a member and then promote them uh, to which we'll get into promoting later, uh, but this is just set to true so they can build. And then inheritance, we, we have nothing under basic because they're the basic and they have nothing to inherit from. All right, uh, and of course here in uh, in uh, the mod, we have inheritance from basic and then admin, we don't, it doesn't really matter unless um, you remove that star, which means you'll have to go over space, don't tab, do a, a slash right under the R, space and then we'll do mod so we'll have a uh, inheritance for mod Now this is actually gonna be a two-part video I'm realizing now because I am kind of running out of time so um, this is just gonna be configuring groups and then we'll get into uh, the users and everything else later um, so there you go you got mod BAM that's nice so uh, that's pretty much uh, the first part of this video only because I have to split it into two parts 
slowly because which I wasn't planning on doing at all. But um, I'm kind of running out of time here, and I want to, you know, put in as much information as I can. So um, that's that. We have the basic group, we have the mod group, and we have the admins group. Of course, always remember to save. If you're wondering what I'm using to edit this, I'm using what is it? No, uh, WordPad, WordPad. But of course, you could use No Plus Plus. I don't recommend using Notepad uh, because uh, it kind of messes up formatting. Um, so I don't recommend using that. Just use uh, Notepad++, I believe is what it's called, or word WordPad. Um, so yeah. So again, let's go over everything really quick. You can change the name. Just remember it to change it in the inheritance. Uh, uh, you can toggle default on. Just remember you can only do it on one group only. Uh, you can add. Well, actually, let's go over adding real quick. So basically what I normally do to add something is I copy over the basic, then tab down and paste it in. Uh, of course I have an extra piece here so maybe I shouldn't have tabbed down but whatever. And then I just change this name to, let's just add member again. Uh, and then we have default to false of course. Um, build to true and then inheritance again we go tab over, uh, well not tab over but space over but a slash under the R and then we'll inherit it from basic and then we'll go over here and change the inheritance on uh, mod to uh, of course caps uh, sensitive to member alright so uh, that's how you add a group so again now let's go over it shall we um, we have the default so uh, we only want one to true and all the others to false prefix and suffix which I recommend not touching Build to true or false, depending on your preference. Inheritance, or at least for basic, we have it for nothing. But if you do want one, put the slash right under the R on another line. Put a space, then put the name cat sensitive, caps sensitive. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Remember to keep your formatting right. That's important. If you don't do that, you're going to have errors and problems, and that is no fun whatsoever. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, um, just to clarify, if you wanted this on Other World, or if you wanted... A, uh, a better section on Other World, and I'm getting a call that's unknown, so I'm going to reject it because I don't love you. Uh, yeah, so if you want it on Other World, you simply would copy this or, or the same thing on the Other World. You were to, uh, let's see, well, first let's save this, exit it out, uh, go into Our World, which is the one we were previously editing, and my iPod timer is about to uh, die, and I'm getting another call from an unknown person, and I don't love you, so stop calling me reject reject mother licker all right so uh we were to copy these of course i'm not i haven't gone over the users yet so copy these go into the world nether and uh well we don't have to highlight those paste yes to all and that means we now have uh everything we have our member here we have our mod here blah 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 blah, blah. so there you go um nice and fancy uh so that's pretty much it guys uh if you did like and if, if this did help you and it was way more clear than any other tutorial and way more in depth and way more sexy because that's an important thing too uh leave a like because or leave a favorite and uh pass it on to your friends if they're like oh why can't i get this permissions right and believe me it's kind of hard to get into but uh you know once you have it down you can easily do a tutorial like this and uh, be a complete boss at it. Now, um, in this groups global thing, what you can do is simply go into the groups, highlight all of this fancy stuff, control C or copy it, go back, open up your groups, control V, save it, and then there you go. Storage config, uh, I don't know exactly what that's used for, but uh, whatever, whatever, no one cares. And of course, you do the same with users, open up the users, but we'll get into the users file in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Click the link at the top right, and it'll take you over to, um, it'll take you over to my part two of this video, showing you more information on permissions. I highly recommend it because I haven't told you how to add permissions, so go check it out because it's probably gonna help you a little bit, a lot of bit, whatever bit, how much of bit you want a bit, bit. All right, whatever. So, thank you guys for watching. Go check out part two, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.